I've got a sort of a backlog, uh, a stockpile of different products either that I have purchased to test or that others have sent me to ask me to test and review. And I thought with Black Friday coming up and the you know Christmas shopping season, maybe it's a good time to go through some of these. See if it's something you want to put on either your shopping list or buy for a loved one. One today is a new scanner from Xtool. Now I know I've done a few of these and every time I do I wonder why I do them. <laughs> I don't know why people keep sending me scanners to review as if I'm somehow some OBD2 expert. I'm not, and I just use them. And so I've, I do my reviews based on kind of how I use them. And so I can't really give you an expert opinion, and yet people keep sending me tools to review. They're kind of interesting. And this one in particular is kind of interesting. The Xtool sent me this or asked me if I wanted to do this review. And I was like, another tablet scanner like it's okay sure why not you know like send me a scanner i'll play around with it it's fine the more i've uh played around with this one and the more i've looked into others like it and this one's really interesting now i'll get to it a little bit why uh in as we go through this video but this particular one is the d5s it's a fairly new one they've recently come out with, and I think it was out of stock for a little while, and now it's back in stock. We'll go through it. I'll kind of show you what's included with it, what's not included with it, because there's some of that too, and how it works, and why you might want this one versus one of the gajillion others even that Xtool themselves make. So let's take a look. I already had it out. I've been, I've been playing with it actually for a few days. Um, let me talk about what's in the box first. So it gives you some uh, a, kind of a more of a quick start guide and there's a QR code to get to the full manual if you need it. And basically just the tray it comes in, nothing else in there. Comes with the scanner and the cord, the OBD2 cord. Piece of feedback I had about the um, the D7 that I've had for a couple of years now, that's the first one I reviewed, is the, I thought the cord was kind of cumbersome. It's like a multiple connectors and adapters and you gotta put it all together and then you gotta store it somewhere. And this, they finally put together a one piece cord, which I'm a big fan of. It comes with a little Velcro tie to strap it up. And, um, and then it's a fairly nice little tablet. If you think about, well, let me, I'll get the other one out here in a minute. I'll show you the size differentiator, but it's relatively small. I like this because typically when I'm using these kinds of scanners, I'm out looking at a car, either at an auction or at, uh, to, to buy one or helping a friend troubleshoot their car. So having, a, having the, the tablet style versus the, versus the um, Bluetooth style is kind of nice. Um, but the tablet styles are bulky. In fact, let me get the other one. So just for comparison, there's the D7. So it's quite a bit larger quite a bit heavier, bulkier. Uh, where's that King Bowen one at? I can never find anything in the shop. <laughs> There's the King Bowen one. I, I did a review on that one a little while ago. Very nice tablet, quite a bit bigger. Um, relative, this is, you know, size wise, these are pretty close, but you can see that one's, this one's even bigger yet. So it's quite a bit bigger than this. Just size, I'm not trying to compare apples to apples because these aren't apples to apples. These are fully functional bi-directional scanners. So there's more to them. That's not what this is. This is a pretty standard, for the most part, kind of a standard scanner. And it just has the nice form factor, nice screen, real high res screen, modern Android OS. It's pretty quick, easy to read, easy to interact with. And you're not you know, trying to fiddle with something small on your phone and keeps your phone free to do other things. So, so yeah, a little smaller, which for me I like because I can just throw it in a bag and it's super portable. You just strap this cord up and you know, Velcro it together and you can sit and just toss it in a tool bag and off we go. I don't have to take you know, a whole other case with me full of stuff. Um, so for portability, it's, uh, it's really great. Uh, what's not in the box that I wish was is a case. So as much as I like the portability of it, it's nice and small, some sort of soft-sided case I think would be nice. Xtool does sell a soft-sided, um, it's kind of a rectangular case that's sort of a universal case for a bunch of different scanners. And 
But uh, uh, there's like an extra 20 bucks or something like that. I'll put a link for that one as well in case you want it. And I've, initially, I actually told them when they sent it to me and I opened this box up, I said, hey, there's no case inside. Is that supposed to be true or am I missing one? And they said, no, there's no case. Part of it is to keep the size and the cost down. So this is a unique size for, for these scanners. And to make a case uniquely for this scanner would actually probably take different tooling and different manufacturing just for this and it would drive the cost up versus having a generic case that you can get separately and it's kind of a universal-ish case so if you're looking for a soft-sided case uh, I'll be like I said I'll put a link down to that one but um, the more I've used this the the less I am that concerned about the case and I was actually kind of annoyed by that at first but now that I've been using it and kind of tossed it around like you know what I recall that the larger X tool one has that really nice molded case that I never use. I just toss it in a bag. So, so on the top here is your power button, and that's the connector obviously for the cord. And then this does have an expansion port for would be like a micro USB card, probably for storing data, storing diagnostic data. I'm not sure how much I'd really use that. There's no camera on this, which actually doesn't really bother me. It's kind of a neat thing that King Bowman did on theirs, where it included a camera. But it does another thing that takes up space, another thing that takes up, you know, processing power and battery and all that kind of stuff. Maybe for offloading, maybe to store data and then move that SD card over to a computer and, and download it. And then your charging port here, Type-C, comes with a cable, the USB cable. It's a regular standard USB on one side, Type-C on the other to charge it up. Um, it does, you know, like obviously it is fully rechargeable. So where am I at on battery? Does it tell me? I'm still at, boy, I can't read that. <laughs> 95%. Uh, I've been using it all day. So off and on, not solid, obviously, but um, so battery life seems to be pretty good. It connects to Wi-Fi. You have to register it when you when you start. You know, first time you want to use it, you got to register it. Obviously, I already did that. And that um, will uh, get you your updates. And one of the other nice things about this tool that uh, is differentiates it from others, lifetime free updates. No one, two, three year, then pay 55, 75, 80, 90, whatever dollars a year. It's free for the lifetime. Lifetime being the lifetime, as long as they make this unit and support it, you get continue, you continue to get updates. So that's super cool because that's actually not, historically, not typical. Typically, it's a two, even for X tool, I think the D7 was two years and then they gave me a bonus third year. After that, I think it's $90 or $99 a year. This is not a fully bi directional scanner but it does have some bi-directional functionality. You can talk to the car in some ways, some actuation tests, some um, changes like resetting TPMS and um, some of the other special functions do brake bleeding if your vehicle supports it and it supports it from this reader. That's not a given and this is an old truck that I'm gonna demo, demo this on and so it doesn't have a lot of the functionality, but a lot of the newer cars do. So it, ha it does have some of the capability of a fully functional bi-directional scanner. This one is is kind of a middle ground. It's a little bit of a hybrid. It's it's different than those little Bluetooth dongles, the really cheap ones that are, you know, they're handy, they're inexpensive. They, they you can read your code, you can clear your codes. That's kind of the extent of what you can do. You can do some live data. This is going to be not above that, but below the uh, the bi-directional scanners, though, you know, they've, those 350 to $500, even what I would call a budget bi-directional scanner. So it's kind of in between. Let's go and look and see just how far in between it really is, though. We'll get inside the truck. Plug it in. Plug it in right side up. So let me go through some of the, just the menu options here first. There's auto scan, which does what it sounds like, just does an automatic scan of your vehicle. Diagnosis gives you some uh, pick your vehicle, it'll just give you some some tools. The OBD2 is actually probably what I, when I do this, OBD2 is the first one I hit, and that'll actually do a full scan of your, of your system. So we'll do an auto scan. I gotta turn the key on. Let's turn the key on. It's already scanned. I can read the trouble codes. So I'll read the stored codes. And if you, this is as a, this does have an engine light on. And it's a knock sensor two circuit low bank two. So if you've watched me on these scanner videos, the last couple of them, uh, this has been a consistent thing. This thing has a bad knock sensor. And someday I'll probably replace it. 
pending codes, same knock sensor, and it also got an EVAP system vent control, which I also knew about. We can do a live data. A live data for right now, because the vehicle's not on, is only gonna give us some things that it's, that it's outputting live. Temperature, some of the stuff the computer does full time, when it, even just as long as the key's on, and some stuff it only does when the engine's running. This is just like every other scanner. Every other, like almost every um, OBD2 scanner has some kind of live data feed. What it will feed is often dependent, mostly anyway, dependent on the vehicle itself. This has 28 different modules that it'll, it'll monitor. Some of that is the combination of the set of operating system functionality with this versus the um, functionality that's provided by the manufacturer of the vehicle. This is a 20 year old truck. 20 years ago, they didn't have near as much stuff output. Some of these modern cars have 150, 200 different modules it can, it can read. Most of those are, are kind of universal. Like, like if you go to one scanner to the other, it's very rare do I notice that you get different modules. You get the same stuff. What's interesting about the differences between the scanners is mostly the UI and some of the different extra functionality that you get. So you can do a component test. We can do an EVAP leak test. Let's see, what else can we do? Not much in this truck. A lot of different cars have different additional functionality. Speaking of, we'll go into the special functions. So this is a bunch of options. Let's see, I think there's like 15 different options in here. So you've got ABS bleeding, uh, the battery monitoring system, BMS battery monitoring system reset, EGR relearn, um, EVP, uh, you know, steering, brakes, oil reset, suspension, gearbox, injector coating, headlight adjustments, um, the only one this actually supports with this vehicle is the uh, window initialization. Again, most of the functionality with this doesn't work because this, the vehicle doesn't support it, like TPMS reset. There's a manual process in these old trucks. Uh, I actually have to do it on our Yukon, uh, and I wonder if it'll work on that one. I'll try that later. Do, what else we got? And more? We got settings. These settings are your, just your basic Android OS settings. So display, storage, you know, change your Wi-Fi settings, change your date and time. Nothing special in there. Reporting is where you uh, can report certain data, like live data or outputs of data. Profile is if you want to, you can set up your, here's your account data. And you want, I don't know, you can set up your workshop name. I don't know why that matters, but maybe you want to give out all that info to everybody else. Uh, that's pretty much it. So this is, this is the thing. This is the, like, it, like, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Like you might think of that being a little bit lacking. Um, and it's really not because a lot of times there's just a, like an overabundance of stuff. This is really simple. It's very clean, it's very easy to use, it's very simple for your, your regular, average, everyday, sort of amateur car person. You're not a mechanic, you don't have your own shop, you don't have a bunch of tools, you just want a decent scanner that you can carry with you when you go look at a car to buy. You wanna buy a car for your kid or buy a car for yourself, you wanna go, you, know, you buy a used car off Facebook or like I said, you go to one of those auctions. That, this is a really, really handy tool for that sort of thing and uh, can save you a ton of money. Now, speaking of money, what's this cost? Well, retail price in this is $199 on Amazon. And that's a bit pricey, I think, when you can get a pretty traditional Bluetooth or even a wired scanner for, you know, uh, maybe half of that, maybe maybe two thirds of that, like $100. 20 130 dollars the obd link the newer obd link that works with both android and uh, ios bluetooth scanner i think is right around that about 120 dollars the one i have that only works for android was like 85 but that was like a million years ago and then meanwhile you've got these if you you're going to spend 200 dollars for a scanner well for three or 350 you can get the the fully the fully capable one so you know maybe maybe it's not the savings isn't that great however it's not really $199 because it's on sale for $180, $179.99. And there's a $30 coupon on Amazon right now. And they've given me a promo code for 15, an additional 15% off that I'll post down below. That's what's stackable on top of that coupon. So when you apply all those things together, it ends up coming out at about $120, $130, $127 and change plus, plus tax. So... Okay, now we're back into that same price range. And you're on a nice tablet that's speedy, doesn't take your phone, doesn't eat up your phone battery, and has more functionality than the basic Bluetooth ones do. Obviously, again, not as much as a full bi-directional, but it's kind of a nice hybrid. 
So you're getting a bit of a bridge between the Bluetooth scanner, the base reader, and a bi-directional scanner, but you're getting it at the base reader price. And so at $200, I, I think I'd, I don't know, I think I'd probably pass. Because uh, the extra functionality, I, it, for me, if I would need all that, I probably need more, and I'm gonna go ahead and, and buy the more expensive scanner. Uh, but if you're on a budget, and you want some of that functionality, and you don't wanna spend four or 500 bucks for one of those, I think this is a pretty good option. Maybe something you want to pick up, you know, like I said, we've got some coupons out there, maybe something to pick up for Black Friday. Uh, maybe there'll be another, I don't know if they have additional sales coming up for that. And that's, I think this is the Black Friday sale. And then there's uh, obviously Christmas. So maybe somebody loved one who's uh, maybe just getting started in this, or maybe you're just getting started. Maybe you want to buy it for yourself for Christmas, you know? I bought myself tools for my kids for Christmas. That's it. X-Tool D5S. Hit the like and subscribe and do all the clicky things at the bottom. I've got some few more of these. I've got a, like another couple of, of uh, products that were provided to me for a review. And I've got a bunch of stuff that I've actually bought for myself and for my kids to try out and see how we like it. And um, so I've got more of these sort of product reviews coming up in the next few weeks. So if that sort of thing interests you at all, make sure you hit that bell at the bottom so you'll be reminded when the next one comes out. Till then, we'll see you later.